So, guys, The Adventures of the Last of Us continues. Yeah. yeah. Big episode this week. Huge. Mm-hmm. I'm going to start off with, Tris, I want to hear your thoughts, because okay. I want to get them first. We're doing the one-sentence review? Man, I really got to get good at that segment. <laughs> <laughs> I hate adding and taking away shit, because it throws off my vibe. Um, yeah, we can. Uh, you, you two go first. Tris, go first. All right, one one-sentence review. They can't stick with anything. Yeah, that's Damn, pretty true. Damn, what's that mean? Damn, what's that mean? <laughs> uh, Eli, you're next. I, I'm, I'm glad they totally dismantled last week. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yep. What you got, Reek? I was angry about this on Monday. Okay. That's my set. <laughs> okay, that's fair. <laughs> uh, Tristan, overall thoughts on the episode? Um... I I liked the first probably two thirds to three quarters of it. I did not so much like some of the way that it went at the end. The action, Bro, the action part about? was fine. It was just the results. Was the it was quarter. it was the results of that stuff oh, that pissed okay. me off, okay. and just the way that things went. And so I don't know. Like it, it's, I'm sure it's gonna work out okay for me next week and everything. But I, I wanted more, and then they took it away, and so I don't know. I'll still be content with Joel and Ellie, but I wanted more. Eli, that's fair. Um, I very much enjoyed this episode. Um, I'm probably in the minority here, but the reason being is I, I knew coming into the show and this episode particularly, I guess that you're not going to be happy at the end of it. Like, especially at the end of the season, probably you're not going to be happy. This is a show to break you down as a viewer and emotionally wreck you. And I think that's exactly what this episode did. Um, I'll talk, we'll talk about it a little later, obviously, but I enjoyed that. The the fact that they totally redid everything they did last episode that I hated, killed off everybody. um, And then unfortunately killed off a couple people that I was invested in and wanted to see more from. But I think they did it in a way that, made me super sad and depressed at the end of the episode. And that's what I was going for, or that's what I wanted, I guess, from this. So spoilers, bro, but I get it. The, he, he like never got that far. Oh, and you mean spoilers for the review? I mean, dude, we're talking about it now. They it's in a review. The one sense review. <laughs> yeah. You hear the one sense, man. Fuck off. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> for me, a lot of this watching it on Sunday or Sunday or Monday when it came out, I was just angry the whole time because this arc is exactly from the game minus the Kathleen stuff. Right. Where you meet Sam and Henry, they're with you for a little bit and then they're not, (laughs) they're not. Yeah. So, but my issue was they were only here for an episode, which is, and it was a shorter episode actually. It was was like 55 or 56 minutes where in the game, they're with you for like three hours. Oh Which damn! Is like okay, a good chunk of the game, and they're with you for a while, and so when that shit happens, it happened at the end of the episode. You're like, "Fuck!" Like you know, you're like, "What the fuck?" For me, of course, I knew this was happening, so it didn't hit me as hard, and I think that's where I was at until I started seeing other people's reaction to this. Other people were like, "Yo, that was fucked up, man. Damn, that shit was good. I thought they were gonna be around for a while. Da 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 da. This and that." Uh... And I gotta keep remembering. The kind of people that are watching the show versus the people who played the game. Right. Right? People who watch this are probably zombie fans or TV fans in general. They're bringing their Walking Dead knowledge into this, right? And expectations. Whereas I'm bringing with, I didn't know what's happening in the plot. Right. So I know this. I want it done a certain way versus someone who's just experienced it the first time through. Yeah. I so don't blame you. I definitely had to sit with that for a little bit. And I was like, okay, this is all good now. And now I'm all right with all, everything that's going on. The parts I'm not all right with are Kathleen still. Oh, yes. That was worthless. Waste of fucking time. Waste of fucking energy. The lady was not scary at all. Not spooky. And not even entertaining. She was just, again, I kept saying it, Canadian soccer mom. Yeah. Oh, well, hi there. How are you? You know, it's like, bro, yeah. get out of here. Like, you're actually adding nothing to the story. And they killed her instantly. Bro, they killed her with the baby zombie, too. 
Yeah. That shit was lit. That, that was, was lit. crazy. Like, I was excited when she died, but I was like, really? They had to jabroni her with the baby zombie? Yeah. And so then if you add, if you take away the Kathleen scenes from this episode, you only had 30 minutes with Sam and Henry. Yeah. That's pretty. Yeah, that's true. 30 minutes. And you're supposed to care about these kids, these two kids. To be fair, I thought uh, Sam. Sam the younger one. Sam's the I baby one. I called him Stefan Diggs and Trayvon Diggs. Wow. Um, Sam's the baby one. Sam's that's... the tiny. Okay, so uh, Henry. Um, <laughs> I I thought she was gonna kill Henry earlier. To be honest, I thought Henry or Sam, one of the two, was getting out the paint pretty quick. Um, but like when she called him over to the car, and that's when the herd actually came over. Bro, I thought I thought one of them was gone. That shit was so stupid. I'll come out. Just let my brother go. What are you, are you stupid? Yeah, I, just I, give away yeah. our hiding spot. I thought dummy. that was stupid too. <laughs> that was that was show shit. Like that was from the game. That was the, the game. He's not that retarded. So sorry, stupid. <laughs> He's not that dumb with the game. That's, um, you go crazy. I will say, I think the horde was cool. I think the the tank. I, I don't know what they're actually called. Uh, uh, bloaters. Bloater. I thought the bloater was hella cool, and I saw. I don't. I don't watch the behind the scenes, so they might have put it in there. But I did see. It was like a Instagram clip or something like. None of that was CGI. It was all makeup, and I thought that was super cool. Oh, for shoot. Yeah, yeah. I skipped the B- BTS this week because, again, I was a little salty when it ended. <laughs> so, But uh, I did hear that also the whole Big big Mushroom Man was uh, mostly practical. There was a little bit of CGI with just, like, the, the hit, hitting people and shit, of course. Right, right. But, like, all those zombies, they said, were practical, and them crawling out of the hole was practical. And I think what? that's so cool, dude. That's yeah. sick. That is sick as shit. That, this, the that, that does improve that a lot, yeah, absolutely. honestly. Like that. If you've learned anything from this, is Marvel, dink dong, dink dong, stop doing CGI. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Like, you can do good shows with practical effects and make them, people be like, whoa, this is awesome. That's true. But, yeah, it, it, it was it was a cool episode for people, and I'm actually very excited for where they're going to do with the next part because uh start playing the game again. Like, I talked to you guys about... Uh, pre-pod and uh i cried (laughs) (laughs) i i cried playing the part that's some of the parts that come up after this and i was like oh i did not (laughs) not expect that (laughs) i was like wow damn dude you do a great job of hitting me again in the fields like it's one of the only games that's good like that you know i need there's one other game that's like that i also need an action adaptation if it's also a zombie game yes telltale please yeah Telltale, let's do it, baby. Even it's if it's just the first season. It's I was actually I was thinking pretty in depth about that, not to go off on, on a tangent, but a lot of that, like, it's not a very long game. You know, like the you first get, season's easy. It's like an hour and a half, maybe, an episode. Yeah, um and you think five a, five a season. Yeah, and you think half of that is probably like gameplay and it doesn't affect the plot at all. So when you really break it down, like they're gonna they would have to add in a lot of shit to make that good. Um, I think there's there's plenty of areas to add in stuff. I agree. Yeah. Um, like, it, it'd be, even even if they don't want to, they could just make five episodes and call it good. Yeah. For me, at least. No, me too. I'd be cool with it. Anyway, uh, not to go off on my tangent, but I this episode made me super invested in Joel as a character. Um, him sniping through the watchtower while Ellie's running Dope. away. That was I shit. thought that was, shit was so cool. And I'm like, dude, I like all Joel is like that. Yeah, me too. Um, so that made me... I was already invested in, obviously, that 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 uh, i guess relationship between joel and ellie but this made me super invested in joel as a character that's good that's good because you know from y'all saying that i haven't got attached to this portrayal of joel and ellie yet so if it's getting you guys that's good tristan you feel the same way or not i do i i am starting to to feel for the joel and ellie relationship uh i think it's dope i think pedro's doing a great job i even think um what's her name is doing Bella Ramsey. Yeah, I think she's doing a good job as well. I I know she's getting some hate for her portrayal. Uh, granted, really, I really seen... where from and for what? Or did you it, not it, even I, I've looking? seen a lot of hate I've, as well. I've, I've just seen it like all over. Is the it place. from game people or yes. like show? Yes. I actually no, don't know. Game people. It's game people, bro. Because people are mad that she doesn't look exactly like Ellie from the game. Yeah, but the I thing heard is that shit when it first yeah. started. <clears throat> yeah, and people are mad about that. The problem is like they casted like. Or, or I guess had tryouts for like 100, 150 like people to take that role. Um, and the thing is, like she she won it because that's the character that they want. And I th- I haven't played the game, so I'm just speaking, you know, on what I see. And I think she portrays that character that I want portrayed pretty well. 
Um, I'm not invested in that character yet, and maybe I will be, but I I think that's a stupid reason to get mad at her if, as they don't look alike. If you don't like her as a character, that's fine. But the whole, oh, they don't even look remotely the same. I'm like, dude, like, yeah, that's how that works. There's much better arguments to be made than that. Like, that's probably the worst argument you can make. They don't look similar. It's like, yeah. Stop being fucking goofy. I mean, like, this episode specifically started getting me more invested in Ellie just because I enjoyed seeing her and Sam throughout the episode uh, and just yeah, them so interacting. That's where, that's where things got angry for me. Okay. Why is that? So... Tell me why you liked it before I start trying to I start switching the perspective. I just thought it was super cool seeing her interact with him, and he he pro- a probably hasn't had a lot of interaction with people his age in a while, and he appears to be deaf. Uh, it, he's absolutely which deaf. is my you know, uh, and so <laughs> it's not even an assumption. He's absolutely deaf. He can't yeah, fucking there's, hear. There's no way he's not. You know, but <laughs> he. He probably hasn't had a lot of normal interaction with people in the first place just because, you know, most people don't understand how to interact with deaf people and she just doesn't treat him any different. And I like seeing the way that she, you know, hangs out with him and cares about him uh, throughout this episode just for the ending to kind of make me sad. So I will say the young actor man is deaf in real life. So oh, sweet. that's really cool. Oh, wow. That's sweet for him. Uh, he did a great job of acting. I will say that now. None of my issues are with the actors of this series so far. It's been a lot about the writing decisions and overall creative choices. So in the game, Sam is not deaf. He's also oh, older. Interesting. Oh, he's... he's also a gang older. He is closer to Ellie's age. Uh. And it's almost as if he feels a crush for her in the game. Uh. Like, a lot of it is him trying to impress her, and it's pretty funny and cute, and then not so much when that shit happens, right? So, like, there's one point where they're talking, and he's with his brother and shit, Henry. I don't think they ever outright said it's his brother, did they? In the show? Uh, they didn't outright say it, so. but, yeah. Yeah, I was wondering if they were going with the assumption that that could be his son, if he had him young, but I don't think they were going there. I think that's still his brother. I thought that's why they might have scaled him back in age. But this is might have been the best uh, deaf actor they had, so they made him a little bit younger. Yeah, but I mean, in, in the game, up. there's a scene where they're like, "She's like, oh, how old are you?" He's like, "Oh, she." He asked her how old she is. She's like, "Yeah, I'm like 14." She's like, "I'm 14," and he's like, "He's like, oh yeah, me too." And then Henry goes, he's "Like, you're 14?" He's like, "Like, you know, he's not." He's like, he's like, yeah, I'm close enough. Like, oh, it's nice, little yeah. funny shit like that that, like, I you miss out on with the direction they took it because it even even if he was deaf, they made him a little too young to where it would feel really awkward and inappropriate for that kind of situation to be happening. Right. Ah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And it felt more like he she was babying him versus them actually like you know. I'd like agree. That. Yeah. And well, so fine. that was my only issue with the depiction of their relationship as well. Also, there's a scene where uh, they ditch Joel and Ellie at one point, and they they cut that. I was like, I understand why, because if you did that in a thirty minutes that they're on screen, they go fuck you guys, see you yeah. later. Yeah, you would be, you would not be upset when they're dead at the end. You'd be like, man, fuck y'all. <laughs> you know? uh, I did think I I mean him being a snitch was something because I was like, eh, you know, maybe you gotta go, <laughs> you snitch ass motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, so, bro, they gave that, they gave Sam every disease and disability known to mankind. Oh my god, no. They were like, yeah, man, he's black, (laughs) deaf, leukemia survivor. I'm like, shit, next thing you know, you're gonna tell me he's got a learning impediment. (laughs) Like, Yeah. What the fuck, dude? (laughs) This is just so fucked up. (laughs) They're like, and then it makes it even worse when Kathleen at the end's like, maybe he's just meant to die. I'm like, shit, maybe. (laughs) Oh my god. Like, they can get this poor dude with a bunch of different diseases and shit. <laughs> he's like, so you know, he's going to start going blind. <laughs> like, fuck. Uh, but, I mean, yeah, I did, like I said, I enjoyed the acting in this. The acting in the show has been solid. My only main gripe still at this point with Ellie is the the overall direction. She's a little too happy-go-lucky for me. Yeah, I get what I you're saying. She's, she's always like, yeah, Joel, let's go do some shit. Like, like in the... 
in the you know, this sense is going to be coming grating to people's ears in the game <laughs> in, the, in the game <laughs> she's more of like a little badass and she's like not like like a badass like in like annoying but like badass it's like she's still tough as fuck and solid so it made me just a little it made me a little like eh, they're gonna try to like develop her or they're trying to develop her slower i don't know but she's just not hardcore where i want her to be at she's not like my favorite character in zombie history Ch- some favorite character favorite child character in zombie history carl <laughs> carl became a little motherfucking beast <laughs> by season three you take carl over uh over clam bro that's a count that's a that's 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 a video game i guess that's fair but no i would not take carl over clam that, yeah i was gonna say <laughs> <He's> bro stupid <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh but but i will tell you the something original that they did that i loved was the ending all that zombie horde coming was was new. That shit was oh, tight. As I thought it was cool. Fuck, bro. Just just with like in the in the street. So they show up in the street, but everything that happens does not happen like that. Uh, like it, it went down way more chaotic and crazy in the show, and I like that because at this point we yeah. haven't seen the zombies at all. You know they've been kind of light on them. Ain't many clickers coming around, but this time they were just going crazy on them fools. They were slapping people, slicing them, eating them up, chomp, chomp, chomp. Big Batista Diesel looking fucking <laughs> yeah. zombie come out the crut. He said, "Damn motherfucker!" and just crushed two people. Bro, he ripped the dude's head off. Dude, that shit was sweet. I wrote that down. He gave him the fucking Mortal Kombat <laughs> fatality. And then the little I wrote down fatality. <laughs> mushroom wins. And the little baby zombie just jumped on Kathleen and just tore her apart. That was crazy. I was so happy. I was like, "Yes, get off my screen, go away." You know that actress has been getting shit from people, and I gotta, admit, I gotta say this right. I don't like the character. That's not her fault, bro. Leave no, that lady no, alone. Yeah. They also said some bullshit. They were like. Her body, it was they said something stupid like her body type isn't that of a zombie. Apocalypse. I'm like, what does that mean, bro? Right? What, yeah, I was like, what does that mean? That's so goofy, bro. My issues with her solely come from the portrayal of her character being a Canadian house mom, <laughs> like, yeah, just wasn't threatening or menacing or even believable. Where I've seen other women portray this role more believably, and it was it was goofy. And so, people need to get off people's dicks because, like. <laughs> When something gets mega popular, they're always going to be fans on people's dick and, like, not leaving them alone. This is so true. My my quote to everyone out there, get off dick, yo. <laughs> I like it. But yeah, Kathleen got GG'd. All them guns didn't mean shit because them zombies ripped through them like butter. Dude, that, they had guns and vehicles and all that and still got smoked. And that scene where, uh, where Ellie's in the whip. With the little gymnast zombie girl. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. She, she was going crazy. That's an actual little girl, you know that? Yeah. Uh-uh. They got a nine-year-old gymnast to be that that clicker. That makes sense. Yeah, she crawled in the car all contortionist, and she's, I'm about to fuck you up. And Ellie was like, nah, I'm out of here. <laughs> uh, that shit was cool. And then all that leads to the, the ending, which was pretty sad. Like, yeah. Sad, like, sad as fuck, really. Uh, they really they so, got me to bite. Like they they got me too. I thought I thought it was gonna be okay. Sam oh, no. Sam and Ellie scene, I that was a little weird for me because uh, I don't know what in the fuck the AIDS was going on there, but Dude, Ellie was trying yeah. to give him super AIDS. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying too, bro. No, like, I was like uh, what the hell? Are you actually confused? Like, what are we? No, I'm just oh, no, just... I'm just saying like it felt very strange oh. seeing a child. Cut yeah. their hand open, cut the other child's hand open, and do some sort of blood fusion pack. Blood brother, yeah. As if they're making a cult. No, she just yeah. rubbed it on his bite. That's all. Again, it looked like a cult. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, <laughs> like you could say, I know what it was. She was trying to cheat. You can, how are you going to be like, you didn't understand that? She said outright what she was doing. Yeah. So, uh, like, so this I was, will heal you. I, she, I think she literally said, she, you know, this she will says, heal you. I'm going to use my blood. It's a cure. I will kill you. <laughs> yeah. like, did I do it right? Is that the script? Yeah. And so that shit didn't work. Because <laughs> she woke up and that boy was about to chomp her face off. Oh, that was and, tough, oh, too. Dude. So that was great acting right here, bro. Shout out to the dude who plays Henry. Because he was like, he shot, he shot, you get that warning shot to Joey. He's like, stop. Don't. Don't do it. Don't touch him. Don't yeah. shoot him. <laughs> you know? I got it. And then he did it, and he was all fucking sad. And he's like, what the fuck did I just do? And, oh, my God. He turns the gun on himself and 
Duh, that was, yeah. Oh, that, yeah. I didn't like Shout that. Shout out to him. I didn't like that. Fucking taking some time away from the Buffalo Bills organization to come and film that. That was <laughs> awesome. Why are you that was like awesome. This? You're about to get the racist claims, bro. He he looks like Stefan Diggs, bro. That's not racist to say that shit. Oh, no. I want you, I want you to look well, it up right now and go tell me he doesn't look like Stefan Diggs. I don't know. I know what Stefan Diggs looks like. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I might have to file a complaint with the NAACP. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, that shit was sad, and it just for it to cut away and end like that. Oof. You guys don't watch the episode previews, do you? The, no. The previews, no, like the what happened yeah. before. No, the previews. No. Like, they're showing you what's going to happen. Oh. Sometimes I have. I haven't watched all of them. I wouldn't if I were you. They give away too much for me. But uh, the next episode should be fun. It should be fun. I don't Tonight, like previews. I, hope yeah, I don't like previews either. Because they give away too much nowadays, you know? Before it used to, like, have you bite and be like... Because they would show you shit that already happened and be like, what is Rick going to do yeah. now that Lori is Lori? And it's like, damn it, Rick. It's like, what do you want me to do, Lori? <laughs> Next time like, on The Walking nah, nah, nah. Dead. <laughs> yeah. That shit's solid. But a lot of times they're like, here's everything that happens next episode. Oh, damn. Thanks. <laughs> yep. Pretty much. So, yeah. That was sweet. I'm looking forward to everything that happens now. I hope people enjoy the show. At this point, I've come to the grips with this show's not for me, personally. I see. Uh as in, like, it's not made for people like me. This is made to capture a wider audience than people who just played the game. And that's okay, you know? Um, 